Now, this is the card that I am most excited about because of his moments last year. And if he plays anything like that card, he's going to be unreal. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Michael, aka The Crusher, and today we've got another new video coming your way. The Foot Birthday Team 2 tier list. It's stacked full of talent, 11 plays to go through, so let's get into it. So yeah, we're starting, as always, with the, the three tiers. You've got the centre transfer list, which is average, but won't really improve your team. Get some coins. Keep items, which is obviously you want to keep in your club. We're going to improve your team. And quick sell, like, there's, yeah, there's not a lot of point to that card, um, to be brutally honest. But yeah, there's a lot of place to go through. And we're starting at the top. 93, Danny Alves, his first special card in FIFA 22. So move back to a... Barcelona, late 2021, registered in 2022, uh, and he is here. A right-back card, five-star, five-star skills, 92 pace, 82 shooting, 90 passing, 93 dribbling, 88 defending, 83 physical. Keep him in your club. He is going to be unreal. An end-game right-back, and if I can get him, I won't need to take uh, Cafu from the uh, icon swaps, so keep him in your club. He's going to be expensive, though, but it will be well worth it. Next to him, we've got a 93 Manuel Neuer. If you remember this time last year for foot birthday, we had that Mandanda five-star goalkeeper. Now we've got Neuer five-star goalkeeper. So obviously his, his usual stats, high 90s. In fact, 91 plus in five of the stats. Uh, but he's also got five-star skill moves. So for them people that like spamming that right stick, he will be the perfect goalkeeper for you. Um, and I'd keep him in the club. Um, it's just good to have something a little bit different. I like have a bit of fun now. We're we're through the stressful part of FIFA. Now we're into the road to team of the season. Next up, now this is the card that I am most excited about because of his moments last year. And if he plays anything like that card, he's going to be unreal. However, he is going to have a huge price tag because he does have that five-star weak foot upgrade. It's a 93 die ball with 92 pace, 93 shooting, 93 passing, and 96 dribbling. What a card that is. Keep him in your club. It's just obvious, isn't it? Roberto Firmino is up next. 92 rated. Five-star weak foot this one. Uh, 90 pace, 88 shooting, 91 uh, passing, 94 dribbling, 76 defending, 86 physical. So a very nice all-rounded card. Um, again, keep him in your club. It might be worth selling him depending on what else your team's around because there's better player in, um, in the team. But I'd keep him in your club. I just really like the look of this card. And yeah, foot birthday. It's always good to have some fun. Now we're getting into two cards that I really like the look of and I've used a lot in FIFA 22 this year. The first, Nabil Fakir, my club legend. I played over 800 games with his Road to the Knockouts card. Now he has a foot birthday card with five-star skill moves. He's 90 rated overall. He's got 90 passing, 89 shoot, uh, 90 pace, 89 shooting and passing, 93 dribbling, 83 physical, as well as that five-star skill moves. Keeping your club, he is going to be unreal. Again, probably a slightly heftier price tag um, because of being French as well. So links to a lot of the leagues, a lot of good players. Um, but this card looks incredible. And another card that would slot straight into my first team. I do complain about him a lot because of his three-star weak foot. However, that has now gone. He's now got five-star skills, five-star weak foot. Lucas Paqueta of Leon and Brazil. 86 pace, 88 shooting, 90 passing, 92 dribbling, 86 defending, 88 physical. For me, he the reason why I didn't really like his um, moments card was that free star weak foot you give the ball away quite a lot when doing the under pressure passes uh, with that right foot whereas now that should be eradicated and with a shadow he's probably my um, my brand new defensive midfielder alongside Zidane keeping your club next up we got Sanchez now Spurs fans will be happy I'm just a bit like okay it's another Premier League centre back um, five star skill moves so slightly improves it but for me I'd put him on the transfer list just because I think compared to the like the ones that you've seen in the previous couple of months, like the two that I use are Ruben Diaz, Team of the Year, and um, Rafael Varane Flashback. I think for the for what he is, transfer list, get some coins back. Um, obviously, Prem's going to be quite a popular league. Maybe reinvest it into some of the SBCs that may or may not be coming out. But yeah, for that one, that's going to be the first on the transfer list. Then we're into the final four cards from the Team 2. Starting with Silas, uh, 89 right mid, obviously Bundesliga, Danny Aaron's favourite card. Uh, 95 pace, 85 shooting, 82 passing, 89 dribbling, 81 physical. Although he's got 5 star weak foot, I think he's got 5 star skills as well, going off the top of my head. Uh, transfer list, like, I don't think this card is anything special, unfortunately. Um, it's got fairly low shooting, fairly low passing. Dribbling could be a bit better, physical as well. Like That card should be juiced 
a little bit more, maybe to like a 92 or a 93. Like that would really get people wanting to use that car. But for me, it's a transfer list. Next team we've got Indeedy. Uh, 88 rated with five star skill moves. Um, again, because of the pace and passing, like pace 80, passing 82. For me, it's a transfer list because although it's got five star skill moves, it's Premier League, CDM, nice card. For this stage of the game, it's just a bit low. So get some coins back in uh, and move on. Uh, and then the fa two final cards. Got one from Liga, one from League. Um, first being Yuri Berice. I think it's that you pronounce it. The uh, Atletico, Athletic Built Bout Fullback. 91 pace, 86 defending, 88 uh, physical with 85 passing, 86 physical. Um, we've seen a lot of cards like this. Like the card that this reminds me of is Kieran Tierney's Winter Wild card, which obviously came out in November, December time. So again... Transfer list, like, uh, uh, although he's got five star skill moves as a fullback, so Spinazzola, do you see him use much? Not really, no. Um, so, yeah, for me, uh, transfer list, uh, get some coins back. And then the final one is uh, Juku, D J I K U, uh, is how you spell it. Um, center back, 86 rated, again, five star skill moves um, with 82 pace, 86 defending, 91 dribbling. It's bordering between transfer list and quick sell, but I'm going to put them on the transfer list because the five star skill moves should boost up a little bit. However, you've just got a recently upgraded denier who has 88 in pace defending and physical. So we're going to put him on the quick sell tier just because, yeah, again, 82 pace. Let In March, it's just going to be, it just feels a bit pointless if I'm honest. So it's a shame if you boost him to a little bit more. It's a bit like that Joe Matic player the month card. It's got like mid 60s pace. Give him 80 plus pace. Make him useful. Um, but yeah. That is what I think of Foot Birthday Team 2. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.